what non-surgical procedures are available for nose. The most common is a hump when the line is not completely straight. So what we do, doctor will put a bit of filler before and after the hump, so all together it will form straight line, which visually looks um, more natural and make look like a smaller nose. Second, narrow the nose. Some people have a bit of uh, strong muscles uh, which are widening the nostrils and that can be addressed with a little bit of uh, botulinum toxin which is a muscle relaxant. Also we can use a bit of filler to make the nostrils a bit more narrow. We go from one side and another and actually uh, physically make those straighter straight away. Next option, how to lift up a little bit of tip of the nose. There is uh, two ways. The first is the um, muscle, which actually pulls down the tip of the nose. It's uh, with a uh, muscle relaxant injection. Effect is quite long, at least six months, usually around one year in this area. The next will be a filler, which is put just straight in the base of the nose and it's elevate the base of the nose. Also, sometimes doctor can inject between the cartilage. There are two cartilage in the nose and it can make a little bit of wider nose here, which together with narrowing here visually looks more according to the um, golden standards. Another option, which we sometimes can see, the tip of the nose is a bit too much. It's like a meaty cartilage, soft tissue, and which quite commonly can be formed after some previous injury or a little bit of work done, which is what too rough or not by qualified enough medical practitioner. Sometimes it can be after surgery, a few years um, later, a bit of overgrowth of the tip of the nose. There are a few options which can be done. The most commonly we do injection of um, prescription only medication, which can shrink the size of the cells to from this big size to smaller size. And so whole tip of the nose will look more narrow. And also um, medications which uh, take off all the excessive fluid, which is actually accumulating, kind of causes swelling. Um, sometimes it can be up to three procedures needs to be done, but majority of patients after the first procedure will be quite happy and see good results. And the uh, interval at least four weeks between them, because sometimes it can be swelling initially and it take time to shrink the cells. After six weeks, uh, four, four weeks, you can see effect uh, is much better than initially. After six weeks, you can safely to top up if you need it, but might be not needed majority of cases needed up to three procedures. Uh, the next quite common concern is the quality of the skin. Nose is a central part of the face, outstanding. That's why even the small pores or red blood vessels can actually significantly um, attract attention to this them. Uh, quite commonly, uh, we do strong peelings, specific peelings to dilute the oil from this, like, you know, dark oil from these pores, which can actually make it clean. And then the next peel, we actually make a special peel, which shrink the, uh, the hollows of the nose. Uh, with a little bit of laser, we can get rid of the uh, blood vessels in the nostrils which also aesthetically quite beautiful results. However, um, I can see that in a lot of situations, it's a cause, underlying cause, and it's better to come to clinic. We have a lot of equipment here to diagnose if it's not chronic infection, problems with liver or other issues which can predispose, so the effect can last longer. However, it can be just a genetic type of rosacea and we just have to maintain.